Hi, and welcome to the second boss of Blackwing Lair. This will be Veilstress the Corrupt. For this boss, uh, the main raid will be stood here on the purple square, so just when you come in to the right. Once again, I'm showing this on retail. We have a bit more um, tools at your disposal, just to make it easier. So main raid is stood here. Tank will be stood at the moon spot, where Veilstress will be facing this throne behind, these two chairs. And warriors will be stood on green. Why warriors will be stood on green? I'll explain in a second. This is a standard DPS race, so it's a tank and spank fight, with one exception. Some Someone will get uh, burning adrenaline, where you'll get a skull marked on you. Then you have to move to this spot, where the skull is. So near the pillar, near the entrance, uh, coming in from Razor The reason for this is you'll, you're basically a living bomb, and you'll explode at some point. And if you stand in on top of the raid, you will be raid wiped. There's a lot of uh, damage going out on a raid, fire damage going out, so bring fire potion, uh, greater fire protection potion, that would be awesome. Makes it a lot easier for healers. We normally run two fire protection potions as they are the most valuable consumable you can use here, other than damaging consumables. Don't use a uh, combat potion in order to boost your DPS. Simply won't be necessary. We should have enough DPS to clear, clear it without. So the main focus is on staying alive. So main raid will be stood here on the purple spot, and warriors will be stood on the side. The reason for warriors to be stood on the side is they generate massive threat during this fight, as you have unlimited rage. Uh, warriors who execute spam might be close to getting aggro. Aggro is a bit dodgy in classic, uh, so just to be safe. If the boss turns, he will wipe the raid in swipes and flame breaths. If he only has a tail facing towards you, you'll get knocked back, which is annoying, but shouldn't be a raid wiper. Um, this is basically a tank and spank. I'll start the fight, just so you can see. There's a small cinematic introduction, if you want, uh, where Veils just does a lot of talking. Just make sure that the tank gets the first hit. Uh, before you start going nuts. This shouldn't be an issue for casters uh, as long as you start with a cast ability. If you start with a dot or pre-cast anything that generates a lot of threat it, you might get initial aggro so don't cast anything unless you're certain that you won't get aggro. As soon as the boss starts though, mages you can start casting frost bolts, warlocks you can start casting shadow bolts, everything is fine. Just make sure that the tank has gotten at least one hit during this fight, and everything should be fine. So here we go, starts the fight. This is the buff I'm talking about, Essence of the Red. This basically gives you unlimited of your resource, which is most powerful for warriors. Uh, it's also incredibly powerful for rogues, as they can just pump out um, their main damage abilities every single global cooldown. The boss, as you can see, also starts at 30% instead of 100%. This makes it um, more ex execute friendly as you'll get to 20 percent of the boss total health much much sooner so here we go just killing the boss and you get fat loot that's it 